up a decent amount of copper. You just have to get all the insulation off. This was all free, didn't pay for it. It's one of my maintenance companies. I just don't want to fool around with all the stuff that they uh, fix or replace. And they used to have a company that would come and pick up their metal. Um, but we had a tornado come through. And the company was contracted to pick up a bunch of debris that went through town and they never brought back their dumpster. I guess they didn't have extra dumpsters to leave one there that a company was paying to have their stuff picked up. So I drove past there one day, saw a big giant pile of metal and asked them about it. And I ended up going back two or three times persistence paid off and they said well I guess the company that we pay for is not going to bring us back a dumpster so they just let me pick stuff up haul it off occasionally they'll have a really big AC unit and I'll split it with the guys just because you know they do all the work to pull it out of course I do all the work breaking it down but better to pay and make some money than not get it at all right Still trying to work out a deal on the uh, copper wire I've been buying. For some reason, they don't want to sell me the next load. I guess maybe they caught on that you can make a lot of money stripping them. So, still working on it. Should have another load, hopefully. There's a couple different companies that are doing this demo job. And one of the other ones wants to sell me some wire once they get enough of it, so. Fingers crossed. using to cut that big wire with. Now it's just too big and heavy.
bucket. Chop it up. And weigh it. Not gonna need much, but chop it, chop it, right? best way to fill a bucket if you got a bunch of copper you got to cut is to tip it on its side and it stacks in there way much I don't know why it took me so long to figure that out and I don't remember how I figured it out I must have seen somebody do it on YouTube but I know I've heard Project Shop talk about it and I was like, yeah, I've been doing this for a while. Uh, especially if you got, you know, lots and lots and lots of copper. And the straighter, the better. You know, of course it can be bent a little, but even if it is bent, but if it's straight, it definitely helps. And you can do it with copper wire too. Um, you know, big, giant barrel. Tip it on its side. And, uh, you know, file it in there nice and neat. And then when you're done, you lift it up and you can fit a whole lot more than just doing it like that, you know, because it goes everywhere, every direction. You line it all up with the same orientation. You can fit three times as much copper in there and you're not fighting with it, you know, at the end. You're just filling it in as you go. Give it a try next time you got a whole bunch of, you know, straightish pieces of copper or aluminum or it mostly pertains to copper to me because aluminum I put in bigger stuff. But like I said, it can work for barrels too. You may need help lifting the barrel once it's full because you can fit so much more in there that it's going to be very heavy. Uh, but yeah, pretty cool little trick. Cutting it to length so it's not sticking out of the bucket too far. Probably a little overkill. Just my preference for fitting it into this bucket. Yeah. Expect to have more to add to it, so I try to conserve as much room as possible while doing it this way. Of course, if I could melt all this down, I could definitely conserve a lot of space, but a lot of times the yard won't take stuff melted down because they don't know how pure it is. Unless they have a RF gun, or whatever it's called. Most likely your scrap yard's not gonna have one of those because they are very expensive. I've heard that a used X-ray gun is like $20,000, $30,000. Saw a guy that worked at one of the local colleges downtown bringing in a bunch of stuff. And he's a construction guy, didn't know if it was stainless or not, and he had his own XRF gun. He could analyze anything. And I was like, how much is that? And he said, 36. And I was like, 36. He's not talking about $3,600. $36,000 is what he's talking about. Because I looked it up and I was, I was like, holy crap. That's expensive. But I guess if you're a big company dealing in strap, you want to be able to know what you got so you can get the highest price for it. He's got an XRF gun at their strap there. I don't know where his strap yard is located. I need to ask him. I recommend you check out his channel. Ice Graph App channel. 
I think his name's Tom. But he does, he does like weekly updates on price swings. You can download the app and it's got, you know, people all over the country putting in what prices they got for what items. Just so you can get an idea. If you don't go to the scrap yard very often, you can get an idea of what the prices are in your area. I always recommend calling the scrap yard before you go. Uh, that's what I do. Bringing in a whole bunch of stuff that like just dropped out of it. Probably a little overkill when I just cut it all up. But I'll be able to put a lot more in there.
There we go. Let's show you the copper bucket there. See how much I can fit. Eighty degrees in August. What happened to that heat wave they were talking about? I thought everybody's going to die. Kept saying it's the hottest it's ever been. Yeah, in Phoenix. Phoenix is always 120 degrees. What are you talking about? You know what I mean? I don't know if you've ever been to Phoenix, but it's always 110, 120 degrees. Nothing new here, folks. Nothing new. Find a flat surface. Pounds. This bucket weighs a pound. So we got 12.22 pounds minus a pound, 11 pounds of copper. Number one, I get 335. So 335 times 11. Was that like 40 bucks? 40 bucks for 20 minutes. All that cutting I had to do, I didn't really have to do it. I could have just put it in a bigger bucket. And I may even have missed a piece or two, it looks like. So I'd say easily 40 bucks that was in there. We got a couple more pieces right here. So yeah, not too bad. Um, appreciate you stopping by. We'll see you in the next one.